Peter, does that send alarm bells ringing? We're seeing some crazy numbers being posted in China, uh, and we've seen this before. We saw it back in 2015. It had some fairly dramatic impacts uh, when that bubble burst around the world. Uh, are you starting to worry that we are seeing repeats uh, of what we saw a few years back, and are you worried that it could end badly once again? Um, yes, I, I think it is time to, to start think, having those thoughts and thinking that. I mean, the Chinese uh, economy for a long time, one of the few places uncertainty about the future can get expressed is in the equity market. The credit slice of the capital structure has been kind of fixed. The government doesn't let a lot of corporates default. They have a way higher corporate debt to GDP than the United States has, but the government sort of anchors that. And therefore, more of the volatility is going to show through in equity markets because that's where it can be uh, expressed. And uh, the Chinese equity markets have been pretty volatile over the last uh, 15 years. Uh, you, you've referred to the most recent past episode. So I think it's worth thinking about that. Uh, investors have a short horizon when the future is very uncertain. We don't really know about the future income for U.S. companies or Chinese companies over the coming couple of years. So people focus on a very short horizon. Yes, I think it's time to worry a little bit.